All right, we're going to take a look at drawing number 19. Uh, this is the shape. The shape is one and a half inches deep, four inches wide, and two and a half inches tall. Um, so we're going to start out with a base where we're going to build a cube. And so I'm going to type four quotation, comma, 1.5 quotation, press return. I'm going to bring this up to two and a half inches. Uh, I noticed I went up a little bit, so I'm going to undo that until it gets flat. Try that again. Drag it up in one movement. Type 2.5 quotation return. Before I can proceed, I want to make sure my cube is correct with the correct <coughs> height, width, and depth. So now I can proceed. I'm going to come back to my shape. Um, make sure, and, and I notice, I was just double checking the width that it's four inches. So now what I'm going to work on is this one inch part. Uh, I'm going to use my guideline tool, the tape measure. I'm going to click on this vertical bar and then drag to the right and type one inch quotation. I know this side needs to go in a little bit, but first, before I can push pull, I need to draw a line to divide that front face. Now I can push in this part. Um, so how far does it need to go? That's a good question. I need to take a look. So I know that this is one and a half inches deep. And I know from here to here is three quarters of an inch. So I have to use my mental math. So if I have $1.50 and subtract 75 cents because you buy a soda or something, you get the remaining is three quarters of an inch. So what I'm going to do is make sure I go in three quarters. And I can even type in 0.775 quotation, press return. Uh, I'm going to put a dimension on just to make sure. This should be three quarters of an inch. This here should be one inch. Okay. Now I know that there's a rectangle in here with the top part is one half, the bottom part is three quarters. So I need to figure out where this line is, it's half inch down. This line right here is three quarters of an inch up. So I'm gonna use that tape measure tool again. Click on the front, go up 0.75 quotation, return. And from the top, I'm going to come down one half inch, 0.5 quotation return. And now I know that um, there's a line over here somewhere, so I've got to figure out where that is. So I'm going to come back to my shape, and it looks like it's two inches in. So same tool, tape measure. I'm going to click, drag to the left, type two quotation return. And now I can't push pull it unless I divide the surface. So you can either use the line or the rectangle tool. I'm going to use the rectangle tool just because it's a little bit faster. So I click on the intersection, drag to the opposite corner, click again. Now I can use my push-pull tool to go all the way through. Um, my shape is done, but I'm not done because I don't have the dimensions on. I need to finish putting in the rest of the dimensions. And coming out. Uh, so I got a half inch, I got three quarters. I need to know the overall height, which is two and a half inches. And that's all of my measurements I need. I can go ahead and erase this. And I would zoom out a little bit and I would be done. So I can go ahead and save it and turn it in.